right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Kakradash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers and peace and blessings, salutations, and hopefully they got there pushing this word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom unto the hopefully the believers. The listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you, how about your shot? What I want to get into this morning is pretty much, you know, how we have this all in mentality. You know, the truth gives us an all in mentality, okay? Which means that we're all in, we're, 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 we're pretty much being bought in on the concept that there's a great deliverance and a great destruction coming, okay? And our decision-making in our life is based on that. You know, we're all in, okay? When you think about it, the choices that we make on our day-to-day -day is based on trying to be delivered, <laughs> okay? You know, we do particular things in between time, okay, maintain our situation, but the, the big picture is deliverance, man. Okay, the destruction of this place. All right? We know this coming. <laughs> you see? And they're going from what, man? Just believing the gospel, the good news. Okay? So, how about Shema Shai has pretty much poured his spirit upon the hopeful elect in these latter times to look forward to the coming Okay, of his son Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai is coming with a reward and also with destruction. Alright? Yahweh Shai and the angels. And we're all in when it comes to that. You know? That's why even some of the elect will lose their life. Okay? Even lay their own life down. Those who are allotted, you know, to be martyrs for Yahweh Shai. That's an all-in mentality, you know? That means you would rather die believing, okay, the gospel, the good news, a righteous kingdom to come, you have a shot to come back. Because even to die, you have to believe that the most high that he is, okay? And you have to believe his son has the power of resurrection, you know? And, and that's why scripture referred to the lake as being what? Unmovable, man. Okay? These descriptions refer to the elect. Alright? Those that are scribing and fighting in this ministry is uh unmovable. Alright? I think that's in um the book of Corinthians. I think in first Corinthians. All right, let's get in and read it. You know, you go to um, First Corinthians fifteen. You go to First Corinthians fifteen and uh, start at fifty-seven. It said, "But thanks." be to the most high okay but thanks be to the most high which giving us the victory through our lord Yahweh Shah Masiah okay and we have faith in that victory see we move as if we know we've already won okay especially in the times to come when we really start losing things all right Brothers gonna lose houses, families, cars, you know, careers. You know, especially when we start losing things, man. Because why? Why why we're gonna be, you know, so apt to lose material things? Why, man? Because we putting it all in, we putting it all on the line for the victory that's written about, man. We have faith in the victory, man. So we'll push everything to the middle of the table. Even our own life, if necessary, man. Lord will, you know. If 
that's, if that's our, our lot, we have the spirit to do that. But the Lord gonna give us the spirit to do that if it's our lot, man. <clears throat> you know, He gonna give us the spirit to lay down our life. <clears throat> All right, for the victory that's promised, man. You know, <clears throat> it's <a> like <clears throat> shit. All right, He gonna give us the uh, the, the the victory. I mean, the spirit to do it through faith in that victory, man. Because to this world, as the scriptures say, matter of fact, let's get that in the book of, um, I believe it's Wisdom of Solomon. All right, the third chapter. <coughs> It's the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1. Hold on. All right, there's a book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 1. It said, But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High. Okay? And there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery. Yeah, because in the sights of these people, it's gonna look like we're losing, man. Okay, it's gonna look like we're losing for believing in this, in, you know, from this perspective, in this false religion, in this cult. Okay, it's gonna look like man, them niggas dumb. All right, them women dumb. What are they doing? They losing everything. She. You know, uh, she, he had, you know, they had such a promising career. They could have been this. They could have been that. You know? So to them, it's going to look as a loss. Okay? But they don't understand the game we're playing. <laughs> they, they, they don't understand, okay, the promise. All right? Well, we're gambling on what's written in the scriptures. Everybody believe the Bible so much, but the Lord gonna put the spirit on the leg to really, you know, go all out for the for belief what's written in this book, man. Okay? Verse 3, and says, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace, for they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. Okay? That's the gamble. Okay? Hey, we, <laughs> we're gambling for immortality, man. Okay? So, to, to, to from the outside looking in, it's going to look at, man, them niggas is crazy. What's wrong with that guy? You know, what's wrong with this woman? Okay? But they don't understand, <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right, that, that, that we're going to be at peace, man. Okay? Because, hey, we so vexed in this society. The scriptures say we hate our lives into deaths, man. We not fighting for nothing here, man. Okay? We're not fighting for nothing here, man. The scriptures say he that, you know, that, 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 that save his life shall lose it. You know? And you have a lot of people taking that karagma to try to do what, man? Save their life. To save their current situation. Okay? They're gonna lose it, man. Which is death. Okay, because if you get the the the, the, the uh, uh you know the karagma, okay, to try to pull back into this system after you know this it gets really chaotic out here, you know, to try to fight for that normalcy. What what does that mean? Because people you know, even with the juice, people had like once they got it, they was they was immortal. You know, people. You know, you can tell people kind of proud. You know, they had got the juice. You know, they act as if that. You know, they exempt them from any type of death. Like you know, like that one nine was the only way to you know to die, and it was solved. Okay. So when they get that karama. You still gonna be subjugated to the judgment of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. 
<laughs> okay? You still gonna have to deal with what's to come. While on the other hand, you know, even the martyrs, all right, at the coming of the house shot, they're gonna be resurrected to a victory, to glory, to rulership, all right? And then those that don't die, all right, gonna, gonna you know, uh, it's gonna be miracles performed, you know, just so they can eat and drink, okay? It's gonna be a standard lifted, you know, powers given, you know, for t to particular men. And, and we all in, okay, on that concept, on that narrative, okay? This is gonna be families break up based on that narrative, all right, <laughs> that we believe in, man. Okay? But we all in, man. This, 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 yeah. We all in, man. All right? Nothing in this society, all right? It, it's not even a comparison. The scripture talk about how, you know, the kingdom of heaven is like a man who finds a treasure in the field, okay? And what did that man do? He went and sold all that he have and bought the field. You know, because if we got the kingdom, we got everything. That's the mentality that we got to have. If we have the kingdom, we have everything, man. Okay? You're not here fighting for no damn woman on this side. We get the kingdom, we're going to have wives, man. Okay? Not these situationships. <laughs> All right, that we have now, man. We're going to have wives, man. Okay? The, the, the real beautiful daughter of Zion's, man. The real creme de la creme, okay? Of the heathen women, man. <laughs> All right? What the hell will we fight for, for, for a damn woman on this side, man? Okay? A job. All right? How will we fight for a job, man, when we're going to have innumerable riches and resources, man? The earth is going to yield forth this strength, man. We're going to have servants, man. Okay? And that's the mindset, you know, that we have to go into this thing with, into this time with, all right? Because it's going to come to a time where it's going to be hard to believe. It's going to be hard to keep the faith, man. You know? It got to be within us, man. To really push through what we finna go through and what we finna see, man. Okay? But Yahweh Bashim Al Shah is gonna put a spirit upon the elect. Okay, to, to, to even believe more. Because we're gonna need it. Okay? To really be unmovable. <laughs> Alright? Is go back to the Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work, okay, of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, that we know that our labor is not in vain in the Lord, okay, that we know that our labor is not in vain in the Lord, all right? Eat out, eat them. Okay. Everything that this man is doing, this man is going to lose. Okay. But for the sake of the elect, the elect is about to win. Okay. The elect has the victory in your house shot. All right. It's just belief. All right. And hope. In the process, as these things play out, you know, it's just a process that has to be played out. So, Lord will, <clears throat> you brothers, you know, you few sisters, you know, were edified, 
Once again, I'd like to give all praise on and glory unto Yahweh, for Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Kapadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS, who rule well, teach well, be a great example to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations, hopefully, shalom.